Chiasat Indians have RESC UVED from Sudan by Saudi government some 4,000 Indians were present in Sudan. GOTS evacuation plan, two AAF planes in Jeddah, Navy ship in Port Sudan. Apart from the Sudanese authorities, the Ma and the Indian Embassy in Sudan are also in regular touch with the UN, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Egypt and the US among others. We are also coordinating closely with various partners for the safe movement of those Indians who are stranded in Sudan and would like to be evacuated, the Ma said. The government has moved to Indian Air Force, IAF, planes and a Navy ship to evacuate stranded Indians in Sudan, as the situation remained volatile in the African country with reports of fierce fighting at various locations in its capital, Khartoum. This comes days after Prime Minister Narendra Modi asked officials to prepare contingency plans for evacuation of about 3,000 Indians stranded in Sudan. As part of our preparations, and in order to move swiftly, the government of India is pursuing multiple options. Two Indian Air Force C-18 Shunya J are currently positioned on standby in Jeddah. And, in Sumidha has reached Port Sudan, the Ministry of External Affairs Ma, said in a statement on Sunday. It said the government is making all-out efforts to ensure the safety and security of stranded Indians. We are closely monitoring the complex and evolving security situation in Sudan. We are also coordinating closely with various partners for the safe movement of those Indians who are stranded in Sudan and would like to be evacuated, it said. Apart from the Sudanese authorities, the Ma and the Indian Embassy in Sudan are also in regular touch with the UN, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Egypt and the US among others. However, the Ma struck a note of caution. Contingency plans are in place but any movement on the ground would depend on the security situation, which continues to be volatile with reports of fierce fighting at various locations in Khartoum. Sudanese airspace currently remains closed for all foreign aircraft. Overland movement also has risks and logistical challenges, it said. Our embassy is in regular touch with the stranded Indians in Sudan and is advising them on the viability of safe movement and the need to avoid unnecessary risk. It is also coordinating all possible assistance, including possible exit from Khartoum city as and when the security situation permits safe movement, it said. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia on Saturday evacuated 157 people, including Indians. The Saudi Foreign Ministry reported that 91 of its citizens and 66 from friendly nations arrived in Jeddah in the first announced evacuation of civilians since fighting began in the Northeast African nation. The evacuation was carried out by Saudi naval forces with the support of other branches of the army, the Foreign Ministry said in a statement. Besides Indians, citizens of Kuwait, Qatar, UAE, Egypt, Tunisia, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Bulgaria, Canada, the Philippines and Burkina Faso were among those evacuated. Among those who arrived in Jeddah on Saturday was the crew of a Saudi passenger plane that was hit by gunfire while preparing to take off from Khartoum at the start of the fighting on April 15, according to Saudi news reports. Sources said the crew included Indian nationals.